Susan Winter here. Welcome back to my channel. Subscribers, wonderful people that follow here. Thank you so much, my YouTube membership group. I really appreciate all of you and your ongoing support all the time through the live shows and here for these videos. I'm answering your video requests. Today, this conversation, I hope it will give solace to many of you that are suffering through a breakup because this letter proves what I've known for a long time that you may never hear or maybe you do, but there is a dumper's remorse. There are times that somebody breaks up with you and man, do they regret it later. Sometimes they have so much pride, they don't bother to let you know. Other times they write me with a letter like this. So here we go. And Denise, thank you so much for this. Took a lot for you to write this. Denise writes, hi, Susan. I recently found your channel and I love your videos. And Denise, thank you for telling me that. I'm the dumper that regretted their choice and came back, but got rejected. It was a four year relationship and I ended it impulsively. There was no cheating or some major conflict. I respect my ex's decision. However, I'm ridden with guilt, regret, and self-blame. How do I move on from this person and these feelings? And forgive me while I'm trying to just adjust the screen to see here. I'm going back. Okay. I know this hurts. I know it does. You might not be able to fix it. I don't want to say that, but I need to be truthful. It sounds like after four years, it so flabbergasted your ex that they no longer trust you and they are done. So I need to ask you some questions that while you may think they're a little intrusive and you're already hurt and wounded, I think could shed some light and possibly make you feel better. One, um, you say you did it impulsively, yet there were no fighting issues going on. Are you sure? I mean, do you have anger issues? If you do, that's something you can correct. It might be possible if you have an explosive temper or you were upset about something else. Maybe you were drinking too much. Maybe you just got in a fight. You felt ornery that day. I don't know the situation. This is why I do my best here with these video requests and I try and shoot from many angles. That's why in person or you know a one-on-one -on -one is the best. But I'm wondering, did they irritate you? Were you a little bored? Were they just like starting to get on your nerves after four years? They were. It was good. It wasn't great. How do we know that you weren't a little testy for some underlying reason that today, because they're not here, and today, because you're lonely, and because today you start to regret this and second guess yourself, it's very, very common for the dumper to experience second thoughts and guilt and want to win them back. Oftentimes when that happens, you end up in the same place. This is why breakups are many times, not just one and done. Many of you go through a breakup one or the other, either one person begs the other person to try again, or the person who broke up starts to have second thoughts and feels guilty and starts to miss what they had and will come back. But they, unless those original problems are fixed, it will end up in the same place. So let's talk about the dumper's remorse. Do you feel guilt over what you did? Okay. Under You feel guilt when it goes into the basket of, um, I really... I don't know, I freaked out that day. I don't know why I did it. And that's when you will feel guilt and remorse. What I'm asking you to do is really question, where did that come from? Why would you logically after four years just suddenly be impulsive? There normally is an underlying reason for something unresolved, a discontent, a boredom. And 
maybe it's totally within you, get therapy, figure out what it is. But could it have been that you were a little tired of them? So for those of you who've been dumped, the good news is there is a moment in time. They're not going to tell you. Maybe they do, but mostly they won't. Or they will miss you. Don't wait around for it. If it's a no-go and they've not treated you well, continue to leave. Heal yourself. Get past it. The dumper, when you start to second guess yourself, I want you to really, before you apply guilt and remorse, please do your homework. Do a complete forensic layout. Was it always excellent? Was I annoyed? Were there things that, you know, I was just exhausted with having to explain? Did I kind of reach the end of the limit of, you know, what we could talk about? Was there a lack of a growth mindset? Was there something in the lifestyle? Now, that will alleviate your guilt. If this doesn't work and we come straight back to you, here are the questions you might want to consider for becoming the better version of yourself. Do I have a drug or alcohol problem that's getting in the way of my clear choices and my reactivity with my partner? Do I have an anger issue? Where does my explosive anger come? Why am I impulsive? What was the real reason? What was the root cause for my impulsive behavior that day? Get to that fear. Get to that thing that made you react and get help around that because you spent four years with this one. It'll come back. If you don't attend to what that fear was or why you had that reaction that was so powerful, it because it scared the heck out of your partner. And that's why the wall went up. Yep. It's just like that. That's it. So that's the work you can do to correct yourself, right? Either it's, I just feel lonely, that, you know, I don't have somebody else, therefore no guilt. Or the better thing is that, yes, I understand that that is in part me. And so that's uncomfortable. All right. I hope this helps you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Thank you so much for writing me. And anyone who'd like to go ahead, the contact page is at the, um, go to the contact page underneath Lauren, underneath the agent. There's a little box that says Q&A video request. You can write me there. Maybe I'll pull them up. I'm in New York City now. You might be able to hear the sirens, maybe not. That is the indication that uh, I'm here and I love to meet people when I'm in New York City for a one-on-one. -on -one. That is the three-hour package and it's in the most exquisite setting. Private club, it's fabulous. Keep your ears peeled and your eyes open for my meet and greets all around the world as well as New York City coming up very shortly. So thank you all and I wish you the best.